Welcome to another calculation video on redox titrations. Pause the video and by now you guys should know the drill. Have a go and then let's see if you can get the same answer as I do. We have a solid which has a mass of 1.78 grams and it is a mixture of two different compounds. We want to know the value of X in the potassium ethane dioate. So this is what happens to work out the value of X. The solid is first dissolved in 250 centimeters cubed of solution. Then two identical 25 centimeter cubed samples are taken from that. With one of them, we titrate manganate. And with the other one, we titrate sodium hydroxide. And of course, the amount of manganate and sodium hydroxide has been given to us. Now you might be wondering how come we're titrating it with both an oxidizing agent and at the same time with a base or an alkali. So the reason behind that is the following. Both ethane dioic acid and potassium ethane dioate have the ethane dioic ion, which means that they both contain reducing agents. However, ethane dioic acid is also a diprotic acid. So in other words, it was also an acid and it will react with an alkali such as sodium hydroxide. Okay, so to work out the value of X, if you've seen the previous videos on redox titrations, we want to work out the relative formula mass for the salt. So to work out the value of X, we need to know the relative formula mass of the potassium ethane dioate hydrated crystal. In other words, the MR. Of course, to work out MR, we need to know mass and moles. Now remember, this salt and ethane dioic acid are together mixed in that 1.78 grams. So we don't know exactly what the mass of only the potassium part is. But we do know that it's going to be 1.78 subtracted by the mass of the ethane dioic acid. As for the moles, we can work that out because we know that it contains ethane dioate. We can titrate it with potassium permanganate and use the moles of that to work back and find the moles of our potassium ethane dioate. Okay, let's start off by working out the mass of the acid. So that way we can subtract it from 1.78 and work out the mass of the potassium ethane dioate. Of course, to know mass, we need to know moles and times by MR. So we can use the fact that ethane dioic acid is an acid and sodium hydroxide only reacts with an acid to start to work out the moles of this particular compound. We've got a formula and we can create an equation when from this equation, we can also balance it. So this is what the balanced equation should look like. As we can see, the molar ratio of ethane dioic acid and sodium hydroxide is one to two, because remember, it's a diprotic acid, similar to sulfuric acid. So we'll start off by working out the moles of sodium hydroxide by doing 17.3 times 0.1 over 1000. Once we have the moles of sodium hydroxide, we're going to then divide it by two to work out the moles of ethane dioic acid. But remember, this is only in the 25 centimeter cube sample. In the original sample, which has a volume of 250, we have to times it by 10. So this gives us a final answer of 8.675 times 10 to the power of minus three. And this is the moles of the ethane dioic acid alone in the mixture. Now we're going to times it by the MR. The MR of the whole thing, including the two molecules of water is 126. Moles times MR should give us the final mass, 1.09305 grams. So this is basically the mass of ethane dioic acid in that 1.78 grams. We can throw it into this little equation to work out the mass of potassium ethane dioate. So once we do 1.78, take away 1.09305, that gives us 0 0.68695 grams. So we've got the mass of potassium ethane dioate. Next, let's start to work out the moles. Okay, so remember, potassium ethane dioate is not an acid, it's just a reducing agent. Therefore, we will use manganate as our source of working out the moles. So in this beaker, we wanna work out how many moles of ethane dioate there are. First, we'll start to work out the moles of manganate, which gives us 4.97 times 10 to the power of minus four. If you've seen the introductory video, you should know your ratios that manganate to ethane dioate is a two to five ratio. So we're gonna take the moles of manganate divided by two and times it by five 
to work out the moles of ethane dioate in this 25 centimeter cubed sample. And that gives us 1.242 times 10 to the power of minus three. But remember, the ethane dioate in here is from both the ethane dioic acid and also from the potassium ethane dioate, because remember, they are mixed together in the solution. We already know the moles of ethane dioic acid because of the previous titration with sodium hydroxide. The reason it's minus four is because we're talking about 25 centimeters cubed. So we're going to subtract the total ethane dioate from the ones that is only from the acid so that we can work out how much came from potassium ethane dioate. So that gives us 3.75 times 10 to the power of minus four. Again, this is in 25 centimeters cubed. So timesing it by 10 gives us the total moles in the 250 original sample. So now that we know the moles and mass of potassium ethane dioate, let's work out the value of X. So first of all, we're going to work out the relative formula mass. We're going to divide mass by moles, and that should give us 183. Then we're going to subtract the value of potassium ethane dioate, and that gives us a value of 17. So X times H2O equals 17. And finally, we're going to divide by water to work out the value of X. This gives us 0.94 recurring, and of course X has to be a whole number, so the closest integer is one. Hey guys, if that video helped you, support our channel by liking, subscribing, and sharing it with your friends. And more importantly, if you still have questions, drop a post on our forum at examqa.com, where I will personally be there to help answer your questions. Mohammed signing out.